In this video, we will be looking at post-cervical artificial insemination, also known as PCAI in breeding sows. This is a picture of a sow's reproductive tract. When using conventional AI, the semen is deposited within the interdigitating pads of the cervix. When using PCAI, the inner rod is passed through the outer rod and the semen is deposited directly into the uterine body. Heat detection is one of the most important tasks in the breeding process. It is critical to take your time and utilize the most sexually active bores to detect heats. Heat checks should be done by the most experienced employees for successful PCAI implementation. It is important to ensure that the females are in solid standing heat when marketing the females to be bred. During this video, we will be discussing two different options for PCAI management considerations. Option A, heat check first. Then mark all of the sows that are in standing heat and wait a minimum of one and a half hours to breed the female. Option A is recommended when implementing PCAI for the first time on the female or if the sow is moved to a different location for breeding. Option B for PCAI requires the process to start no earlier than 10 minutes after heat check and no later than 40 minutes after heat check. Option B is recommended when there are experienced employees that have successfully completed the PCAI process and if the female has not been moved after heat check. Now we will review the proper PCAI technique. First, you should clean the inner vulva with a clean and dry paper towel to maintain good hygiene and to prevent infection. Then open the vulva by gently pulling down to expose a clean inner vulva. Next, insert the outer catheter, then turn counterclockwise and gently pull back to make sure the catheter is locked in. Then, insert the catheter only partially into the cervix. Do not insert fully at this point. After placing catheters in a maximum of five sows, return to the first sow and insert the catheter fully. If it will not pass on the first try, wait another one to two minutes and try again. It is important to never force the inner catheter. This could cause injury to the sow. Attach the semen bag and gently start to squeeze from the bottom of the bag. When using conventional doses, which is typically 70 to 80 milliliters, squeeze the first half of the bag and check for backflow. Here are the non-negotiables when using PCAI. Only breed sows that are in solid standing heat. No more than five sows per technician at once. Never force the inner catheter. Clean the vulva. Replace any catheter that touches a dirty surface. Stop squeezing semen bag if backflow is detected. Finally, use the most experienced employees to heat check females. These are general recommendations provided by PIC. PIC still encourages the production staff to follow the protocols that are specific to their farm.